Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for joining me this week. So this week I'm going to be talking about a fantastic tool that everybody's been talking about and you know that I don't normally focus on digital tools but I think that this particular one is so powerful for synthesizing information and for developing critical thinking. So if you're interested in finding out about a wonderful AI tool, it's called Chat PDF, then please keep on watching. Okay, so I started engaging with chatpdf.com. It's free, you don't need to sign up. If you want to sign up, then your history will be saved. But I wanted to share this because there are a lot of documents that are really important that are being released by UNESCO, for example. They've just released, as you can see, recommendation on the ethics of artificial intelligence. And while I can skim read this, sometimes I want to know really specific questions about this document. It's 44 pages. So let me just move myself out of the way. And you can see that there's a plus sign new chat. So all you have to do is drop any PDF text. This is free. I have not signed up for anything. I've not given my data. And so at the time of recording this, this was very easily accessible and available to everybody. So I dropped in the UNESCO ethics PDF and um, it says, welcome to this. So as soon as I dropped it in, it came up with welcome to UNESCO recommendations on the ethics of artificial intelligence. And then it actually gives me some example questions to ask the document. Some of the questions that chat PDF suggested was, what are some of the key ethical considerations when developing and using AI? Or how can organizations and governments ensure that AI is used in a way that respects human rights and promotes social good? And the third question that chat PDF suggested was what role can individuals play in promoting ethical AI practices? So I actually came up with my own question because I'm developing lots of different courses and workshops on AI and education at the moment. And so my question was, what are the recommendations to teach students in educational institutions about ethics of artificial intelligence? And you can see the answer here. It's got references to the page and it will actually have a hyperlink here. You can scroll to the page. So according to UNESCO, what does it say? We should develop AI ethics curricula for all levels and promote cross collaboration between AI technical skills education and humanistic ethical and social aspects of AI education. Additionally, online courses and digital resources of AI ethics education should be developed in local languages, including indigenous languages, and take into account the diversity of environments, especially ensuring accessibility of formats of persons with disabilities. And then I clicked on, can you give me some specific recommendations of teaching ethics of artificial intelligence? And so it's given me some specific recommendations here with the page number and the reference so I can actually cross check it. Because remember, this is still just a large language model. It's using algorithms to pick up patterns and trends and then to create a response for you. So it's always good to cross check with the actual document. And I'm so glad that it's all linked here. And then I asked, what are the ethical problems of artificial intelligence? It's got me, a, it's given me a really nice list. Okay, so I also put another document in. I just wanted to show you. This is Singapore's model of artificial intelligence governance framework. And this was a 70 page document. And so when I put this in, all free, I didn't sign up. It gave me some example questions and I actually used one of the example questions. So. It was welcome to the second edition of the model artificial intelligence governance framework from Singapore. So the example question was, what are the guiding principles for the model AI governance framework? And you can just click here and it will copy and paste the question. So it's given me the high level uh, guiding principles for Singapore's governance framework. And it's that organizations using AI and decision making should ensure that all decision making is explainable, transparent and fair. And the other guiding principle is that all AI solutions should be human centric. But let's click on the second question. How does the framework address the level of human involvement in AI decision making? And it's just thinking, let's just give it some time. It's still thinking, but here we go. Okay, it provides guidance on determining the appropriate extent 
of human oversight in AI augmented decision making. Organizations can start by deciding on their commercial objectives of using AI and then determine the level of human involvement required to achieve those objectives. And it's got the reference number here. So let's just scroll to that page. And then it's really important that we cross check this because remember, this is a large language model. It's not thinking for itself. We have to still use our critical thinking ability to be able to cross check information and fact check the actual details. Okay, so I thought this was a wonderful tool to share with you. Uh, it's free. It doesn't require any sign up as well if, if you don't want to save your chat history. And I know that every day, every week, every month, there are more and more new digital tools that are utilizing AI. And so I know in the future, even though I don't focus on specific digital tools, I'll still be sharing wonderful tools that are freely accessible, that are really powerful. And remember, AI does not substitute your critical thinking and problem solving skills, your humanistic skills, but it can certainly save you a lot of time. Thank you so much for joining me this week, and I hope to see you next time.